Yesterday, we got some good news regarding uh, Ace Austin resigning with TNA. And frankly, uh, it is Thursday that I'm recording this right now, but I've um, already done a couple bits of content today, so I scheduled this for a Friday release. Um, but I am recording this shortly after it was announced that uh, AJ Francis has officially signed with TNA through the rest of the year. He did an interview with Chris Van Bleet where he was – you know, he was saying that he would very well could, you know, sign a contract with TNA, that he was very, very happy there. And um, I, I love the work he's doing right now. If you guys haven't noticed right now, yeah, I like good wrestling, but I don't care about wrestling when I'm watching wrestling. Like, I really, I'm really invested in storylines, characters. I care who wins and loses. That's probably the best way that I can explain Uh my fandom of wrestling with, with the mat when it comes to the actual matches, I do care who wins and loses loses, but do I sit here and I want this five star match four and a half star six star match? I don't really give a shit. So um, when I see AJ Francis on my screen, like I see, I see someone who comes off like a star. Like I, I see someone who uh, has me very engaged as a viewer with everything he says comes up um, some comes across believable um someone who gets it like if again if you listen to the interview like he he gets it he gets you know getting heat uh what it takes against a, a, opponents over like he gets it you know so i i'm a big fan i've enjoyed everything he's done thus far and i knew he was going to show up in tna cuz he was talking to him before but then he ended up going back to WWE. So I knew it was only a matter of time. Now he is going to continue to do MLW NWA dates. That was something I had spoke on already where I said that might be the future of free agency when it comes to working with TNA, sign, signing with TNA. Say, hey, I, you know, I can make you my exclusive company. You get priority on my dates. But I also want to go wrestle on NWA and M MLW Granted, they have smaller audiences, but I do think the best way that someone can, you know, maintain relevancy is is doing all three. And um, we're we're glad that he's that this would be like the primary home that we know we're going to have him through the rest of the year. But it's good news. It's good news because this is coming off Motor City Machine Guns leaving. It's coming off. We're not sure what Steve Macklin's going to do. It's coming off people thinking Killer Kelly left, but actually didn't. You know, so by nature, we were a little worried, like, what are they going to do, right? Um, I've been talking about the dominoes when, when the first person left. Is it going to be, how are they going to handle that? Is more Are more people going to follow? Well, the dominoes kind of working the other way around right now because we got people staying and staying on for the foreseeable future. But what he's doing with, with Rich Swan right now, I think is uh, really engaging I'm very into it. I'm gonna meet this dude here um, shortly. I'm in again. I'm in. I'm recording this on Thursday from Las Vegas, but by the time you're hearing this, I'll be in Indianapolis, um, and I will. Uh, I'll see him out there. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to let him know that I'm really enjoying what he's doing right now on TNA television. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Like, you know, no matter who it is at this point, it is good to know. That we're going to have people sticking around and not just, you know, freelancing a couple dates here and there. It's, it's good to know that he's going to be a part of the company going forward. And then we'll see what happens after that. Maybe it becomes even more long term. But I'm just a big fan of what he's doing right now. I can't wait to see more of it. Like he's the part of the show that I'm really interested in, whether he's wrestling or not wrestling. I'm I'm into what he is doing. So um, good on TNA for being able to lock down. A couple guys and it definitely lessens the chatter of you know wrestlers wanting to leave because of scott and and i've been i've been there too next time someone leaves i'm probably going to get on here and say oh well scott do more this and this but um this is a, a very good step in the right direction a very good positive sign for tna